Welcome to this video clip. My name is Hannes Schweiger from Janeum Research in Graz, Austria, and it's a great pleasure to have another interview with the project partner of this Horizon 2020 project. This interview is the third clip in a row of a series of interviews introducing all 12 project partners. Today we are joining the company Hedno in Greece, and the abbreviation Hedno stands for Hellenic Electricity Distribution Network Operator. And on behalf of the project team in Athens, I would like to welcome Dr. Dimitrios Stratogianis and Mrs. Maria Symponi. Dr. Stratogianis is head of the project management section at the Strategy and Transformation Department, and Mrs. Symponi, a member of the Hedno ID team. Hello, Maria and Dimitrios, nice to meet you. Hello from Athens. Hello from me, I'm Dimitrios Stratogianis. Well, uh, ladies first, after this short introduction, can you, Maria, and maybe then Dimitrios, uh, say a bit more about yourself and the company Hedno? Yes, my name is Maria Sigborni. I'm working in the information and communication department in Hedno. Uh, I have five years experience in the energy sector in Hedno. Um, I'm an electrical engineer and computer engineer as well. And uh, in the uh, prior to this, I was working in uh, several uh, projects on the private se sector um, concerning uh, enterprise resource plan systems, uh, communication systems, and so on. Okay, Dimitrios. Uh, hello from me. I'm Dimitris Stratogiannis. Uh, I am the head of uh, project management sector in the strategy and transformation department. Uh, I'm, <clears throat> I'm mostly in charge uh, with the network development uh, investments of Hedno, managing a vast project portfolio, uh, including uh, all, major, all major network investments of uh, Hedno. And uh, also we have a strong involvement in uh, various uh, research uh, projects. Uh, I'm an electrical and computer engineer uh, working uh, the last six years uh, for Hedno. And previously, uh, I was working in academia uh, as a, a research uh, member. And uh, also, uh, I was involved in various uh, projects uh, in different uh, areas of energy, telecommunications, uh, mostly oriented in uh, new technologies and uh, innovation. Thank you so much. Um, what would you say? What, what is Hedno's specific role in the project and in which tasks and work are you involved? I am mainly involved in the demonstration activities and the survey flex tool uh, that is addressed to, the, to DSOs. Uh, as we all know, IT plays a significant role in transforming the traditional grid into a smart grid. In NextFlex, we are working on data management uh, and data analysis issues. We develop wrappers for data communication between, devi between devices and uh, several head node business applications like SCADA, GIS, uh, AMI systems using messaging uh, protocols and data models. Uh, first of all, about the role of Hedno. Uh, Hedno is the distribution system operator of uh, Greece. Uh, we are mostly an end user uh, and we are handling the pilot activities uh, of uh, XFlex project that are going to take place in uh, a small city in uh, northern Greece, uh, Xanthi. Uh, so, as an end user, we are uh, uh, having a significant role uh, regarding the requirements, the specifications, and of course the demonstration activities, employing different assets of uh, the Greek uh, distribution network, and focusing also to the integration of uh, uh, operational systems in the field, like uh, these that Maria mentioned, with uh, other IT systems, uh, including the newly uh, proposed uh, systems in, and developed during this uh, project. Okay. Um, just as an impression of you, uh, what would you say? What, what are the lessons learned so far in the project? And, and what are your next steps and, and expectations for the results of your work? 
Yeah, um, I would say, first of all, the necessity to adopt uh, data models in the interoperability process. Uh, another one is the importance of our customers and producers' data privacy by using anonymization techniques. The realization of the complexity of the smart grid uh, concept uh, that has many aspects to consider and technology is one of them. I think that next steps uh, are to inform and involve more people to the concept of the project and similar projects and to provide the consolidated uh, knowledge base. Okay. Uh, following what Maria mentioned, that uh, gave a very good uh, aspect of uh, mostly, let's say, the IT perspective uh, has to do that um, very good, uh, uh, let's say, uh, and indicative, I would suggest, lessons that we have uh, learned so far has to do uh, with the complexity, of course, of uh, adopting different uh, uh, regulatory frameworks uh, coming from uh, countries all over Europe and adopting them uh, in the tools. Also, also uh, stressing the importance uh, of uh, introducing um, new concepts like the flexibility in tackling different, let's say, uh, requirements or even uh, adopting uh, different necessities of um, various DSOs and, of course, uh, requirements that has to do uh, with the technical, uh, not even barriers, but uh, limitations uh, that has to do with the equipment, including the integration of legacy equipment, integration of new system, uh, and how this can uh, give a significant, let's say, um, an addition on how we actually operate uh, the network. So mainly our, our expectations and, of course, uh, the fact that um, we are uh, mainly focusing on uh, uh, using flexibility uh, in uh, uh, handling uh, emergency situations that mostly related with harsh weather conditions and uh, suggesting a new, uh, let's say, resilience concept, including uh, flexibility and similar IT tools in order to support network operation under uh, difficult weather conditions and increasing, as I said before, uh, the efficiency of uh, our teams and increasing the resilience of the network, uh, giving, let's say, an, uh, an improvement on the power quality and on the services uh, that we are giving uh, to our customers. Thank you so much. Um... Last but not least, you probably answered some parts of this question, but I, I ask it here again. Uh, what are your future plans in, in exploiting the results of, of XFlex and the expected benefits here? Uh, yeah, for us, the, the, the answer is very simple on that. Uh, it is very important for us to create a knowledge base for our people in the IT department in order to contribute uh, to, to companies' digital transformation. We can achieve this goal with strong collaboration between the departments and through partnerships in several European funded projects that generate further research. Yeah. So, uh, based on uh, Maria's very good point, uh, I think this is, let's say, the initial uh, point, the starting position uh, for what is the actual expectations or the benefits that we are expecting uh, when we are going to move forward after ending the project and we are going to have the exploitation of the XFlex results. Starting, so starting from the digital transformation, so the provision of uh, this uh, tool portfolio especially GridFlex, GridFlex uh, tool and uh, ServiFlex tool for, uh, uh, for the DSO. I'm uh, focusing mainly on the GridFlex tool, which is a tool um, mainly uh, covering the requirements of the distribution uh, operator. Uh, we are discussing on uh, having, let's say, a new approach on how we can uh, evolve the use of uh, flexibility. Okay, thank you very much, Maria and Dimitrios, um, for joining.
as already mentioned in the clips before, if you want to get more information about the project, please go to the project website via the link given below. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.